guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. What's up? Sherry here from No Effects Game Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for December the 7th until the 15th. So I was thinking of doing things a little bit differently today. Um, I'm going to do two separate readings. Um, I wanted to feature the Crossroads reading that I just uh, created. Um, but I want to do a basic version of that just to kind of show the energies of, you know, both aspects and and how they feel about one another and what they would like, you know, um, in the connection. And then also a twin flame reading, uh, but just a basic one as well. But I think I might use the Call It Baron Reed cards for that. Okay, so... I'm using my cards for the crossroads. And again, oh my God, you guys, thank you so much for your support and your birthday wishes. And oh my God, I love you guys so much. I, I truly do feel incredibly blessed uh, to have you guys in my life. I, the support is incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much gratitude. Okay, here we go. So what should I do? Should I? Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull the cards first, and then, um, and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, so yeah, you can probably even uh, fast forward through this part. I'm not likely to say anything important. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. And can you see them? Awesome. So, um, it looks to me like the masculine is a little bit in the ego space right now. There's a, you know, there are some triggers coming up for him. Um, and it could be in his, in, you know, external, immediate external environment. So it could be like a karmic partner, a codependent relationship. Uh, it could also be... You know, just something that might be triggering the masculine uh, about the feminine. Because I'm seeing the, the devil card in how he sees this connection. So there are some ego issues that are coming up. So the feminine side, she is in the mental space. And there's a sense that she is triggered by thoughts. Um, but it seems to me like she's directing her negative energy away from the connection. The masculine is also moving into a calmer space. Okay, we got this beautiful energy at the heart and then it looks to me like some detachment and spiritual growth. So let's go through all the cards here. Okay, so how does masculine feel about himself? The two of pentacles. So this is balance. So, you know, this could mean feeling pulled in two different directions. Um, this is a seed of intention being um, planted and then as it takes root it changes the environment and so you could feel like the ground is shifting. Um, so the message to this card is to be resilient, bend with the wind. So I feel that he's trying to achieve a sense of balance in his life and ultimately he does. Okay, so the devil card is how he sees the feminine. 
or how he feels, you know, in, in terms of the feminine. So, um, again, this is the ego. It is um, possibly an addiction, right? It uh, um, could be drinking too much, you know, uh, self-medicating. Um, or he could also be seeing how the ego has really played um, an important part in the the connection, right? It's uh, a realization of the ego, perhaps. Um, or the feminine, um, you know, could be in her ego space, and he is aware of that. Uh, you know, especially with the Five of Swords, in how she sees the connection. Five of Swords is conflict. So there there seems to be some fears or a chain or something um some type of like you know feeling like you can't move forward in the 3D reality you're you're chained to something you're you're there's a sense of being imprisoned um but you know the the, the devil is just a crux right you can blame all of your problems on the devil right my life is shitty because of this and that and you know and and sometimes people hide behind the devil right if they're in an abusive relationship um they could easily leave but instead they they get a lot of pleasure out of just complaining about the person playing that victim right so i'm going to pull one clarifier card for that <clears throat> so i have my little deck here and it just has some words written on it with the reverse meaning Okay, what do you mean? Clarity, decision made. Um, hmm. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm seeing the uh, two of swords for the feminine. So she is at a crossroads. She feels she's in this indecisive energy. You know, so sh there's a sense that she's waiting to make a decision. It's interesting how you both got twos. Uh, so that is decisions, um, partnerships, union energy. So clarity of decision made. Huh. Well, let's continue on there because I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. All right. So what does he want her to know is the six of swords. So this is moving to a calmer state of mind. This is leaving a negative situation, um, you know, negative energy. So this could represent that there's a storm, right, brewing in his life. And you can see that windy energy and the shifting uh, with that tree. So he's trying to find balance. Um, but it seems to me like there's the devil is really making it difficult for him. So he wants the feminine to know that he's trying to, to leave a negative situation, trying to find stillness. Um, so yeah, this is a card of moving on to, to a calmer state, but it's actually making that decision to do so. Okay, so... Oops, okay, actually this was this is at the heart centered, so these are like so my bad, sorry about that. Okay. So what is that as hard is justice. So this is a a very uh, powerful balance card. This is the cosmic balancing scale. So again, there's that feeling of of needing to achieve balance, right? And so he feels that he has been you know, that there, there's there been an injustice. Usually when this card shows up, it's like, you know, um, the person wants justice, and usually this means that you will have justice. Things will work out for you. Uh, so this is all about cause and effect. The energy you put out, you will get back tenfold, right? So at the heart, there's this sense of, uh, positive karmic energy um, and 
you know, this is an 11 card as well. Um, this could mean legal matters as well, but that's an under, I mean, that really doesn't have anything to do with the heart space. The heart space is all about love, right? How do you feel? Um, and what I feel here is just this beautiful karmic vibration and that things are working out. Um, you know, he's, he's been stressed about the situation for some time that it seems to me that's all he can think about. Um, you know, and that energy, maybe it's, it's a loving energy returning because here we got the King of Cups, right? Maybe it's an acknowledgement that the ego has been, um, stopping him from doing a lot of things, reaching out or running or, you know, that kind of thing. So that kind of energy is completely flipped on the other side. So let's move on. Um, the, how he feels about the relationship or the connection is, um, the King of Cups. So this is, uh, someone who's very emotionally balanced. Uh, the love is unconditional and it's deep. It's pure. You know, he's very giving, uh, gentle, nurturing kind of energy. So he feels that, you know, the feminine makes him feel this way, that he wants to feel this way in, in this relationship, that he wants to be able to express himself, show his love. But again, there's that ego that's standing in the way. Okay, so next is his challenge is a three of wands. So this is a thumbs up from universe. Um, this is starting to see manifestation. Um, you know, it's creative ideas and having those ideas starting to, to move forward. There's momentum. Uh, and this card is also about partnerships. So there's a pessimistic view. His, uh, challenge is to stay positive, right? It's, very negative you can see that right it's um he has a clarity of decision here that he's walking away that he's he's leaving a karmic energy that's what i i, I see that clearly now but and 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 he's doing it because he he wants justice he feels he deserves to have a loving relationship he wants love he doesn't want to be chained down um, and it's like, you know, the, the reason why the devil is right there in the feminine space is because this is the energy that needs to be cleared first. Definitely. So this is kind of a pessimistic view. His challenge is to, um, focus on the spiritual side of things, focus on the creative side of things. Um, You know, just pursue things that you feel passionate about. Or forming a partnership. The challenge is reaching out. You know, reach out. So, what is the advice? So, this is feeling um, left out in the cold. Feeling, uh, it could be a financial loss as well. Um, feeling of uh, financial hardship. Uh, it could be fi feeling physically ill as well, but it has to do with the 3D reality. And it also has to do with detaching from something in the 3D, right? You, you feel separated. And this could also, you know, be an energy of wanting to find freedom. And, but, you know, the option is to have to shoot yourself in the foot in order to, to find that freedom. But you're willing to do it. You're willing to take that hit, that loss. So the advice from the universe is to detach whatever it, you know, whatever is required of you to find your freedom. Um, take that step, right? Uh, detach fully. And it, you'll be he healthier because of it, because it will be for your higher good. So I do see like a progression here from the two of pentacles to the five of pentacles. So 
<clears throat> there is a growth. Um, but the focus seems to be very strongly on the 3D reality. And he's not quite, um, you know, tr he's not really engaged in conscious decisions, you know, that have to do with his spiritual path, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but ultimately, whatever decisions he make is going to open up that heart space, right? That's what he wants. So for the feminine side, we have how does she feel about herself is the two of swords. She feels stuck at a crossroads. She's either waiting for a decision to be made or she needs to make a decision, you know, possibly to walk away from the connection or start a new relationship um, or, you know, she just feels stuck. This is also cognitive dissonance, split mind. So it is thoughts. Okay, how does she feel about the masculine? Is the five of swords. So conflict, negative energy, negative finger pointing. So she is like I said before, trying to direct her energy away from the masculine, not engage in any kind of negative thoughts because the finger is kind of pointed in that direction, right? So, um, yeah. Okay, so what does she want the masculine to know is a ten of swords. It's that she's trying really hard to move into a more positive space. Um, She's putting an end to conflict in her life. She's not taking any shit anymore. You know, this is a feeling of being stabbed in the back ten times and left for dead. So she's turning her attention away in order to um, focus on spiritual growth, right? Okay, so what's at her heart space is the strength card, or not strength card, sorry, the solar plexus chakra. So this is um, not feeling powerful, feeling um, a, a sense of lack. So this is, um, you know, a lower chakra, it's number three. Uh, and usually when this is activated, um, you know, it, it's a block, right? You need to clear this energy before you can move to higher levels. So at the heart space, she feels disempowered. She feels helpless. She feels, um, yeah, like she's losing her strength. Um, it could also mean that at the heart, she feels strong, powerful. Uh... So I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. What do you mean by solar plexus chakra? A choice or change is needed. Okay, so again, clarity or decision made and choice or change is needed. The reverse of it is uh, things will stay the same. So there's a sense that there is going to be movement there has to be movement soon um or she will make the decision or somebody else will make the decision and again it's kind of pointing back to that two of swords there right that indecisiveness and at the heart space the masculine is coming in with the justice and that is justice will be served. It's karmic positive energy. So it's like, it's kind of like confirmation to the, to the feminine that, um, the choice that will be made will be in our best interest and it will be for love. Right. Okay. So how does she feel about the relationship is the six of wands. So she does feel successful. She feels, you know, um, she feels very encouraged on a spiritual level. 
um, there's excitement here, joy, there's, uh, you know, feeling of um, being a center of the attention kind of thing. People are cheering you on. So there's a lot of enthusiasm and, and feeling of success in terms of the relationship itself. But there's that mental space there that seems to be a theme on the feminine side last week for sure. Okay, so what is a challenge for the feminine? She needs to wake up. Um, and I seem to recall that the uh, uh, judgment card was in the resisting position for the feminine. So she's not hearing the call. She. This is a card of um, reviewing your life and seeing how you've been conditioned to respond in certain ways. How you know, that stories that are passed down from generation to generation um, are so encoded in our actions that we just don't see it, right? We just mindlessly play out this movie and you're not fully engaged in it. So realizing that reality is in fact an illusion is what this card means, right? So on a 3D level, reality is an illusion and what is real is the 5d reality okay so there's major epiphanies major realizations that the feminine isn't seeing she's not looking deeply enough into um into her past now this card is also you know significant changes are happening in the environment so it requires her to weigh her options um, yeah, and so there may be a judgment call that is required. So we hear, have your judgment and justice. Okay, so what is the advice is the three of pentacles. So this is a firm grounded foundation. Uh, so, you know, it's a, a sense of success and um, groundedness, right? So you feel safe. Uh, this is also putting work and effort into continuing to build on that growth. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. So she's resisting um, feeling that sense of groundedness. You know, she feels successful in the 5D realm, right? Uh, Six of Wands, Wand of Spirit. Uh, but she... You know, there's a sense of safety lacking in the 3D reality, and that's probably what's causing all those thoughts, right? What am I going to do? Um, is things ever going to manifest? Um, you know, it's like in your space, your, you know, the feminine space is a masculine indecisiveness. So that negative energy is coming from the masculine, right? Because, because there's, you know, that indecisiveness, feeling stuck. And so there's a sense of um, bitterness as a result of it. But really, all of that is within yourself, right? If you're pissed off at somebody else out there for not doing something or for doing something, then you need to turn that finger back around and point it back at yourself, right? Because they are a reflection of you. They're mirroring back your wholeness, yourself. So if you react negatively, if you criticize somebody for doing something, it's that very thing inside of yourself that you don't like, that you're projecting out, right? So um, this is an internal struggle. And she is definitely trying to put an end to those kind of thoughts, right, of, of feeling betrayed, feeling abandoned, um, right? Because if you look at the mirroring card over here, there's the Six of Swords, which is separating, right? And this is also kind of like ending, um, ending something. But I'm really feeling that a karmic energy is being released, You know, with that devil there, there's justice. 
right? And I really feel it has to do with a decision. Okay, so let me just pause it there and I will shuffle the cards and we'll do the twin flame part of the reading. All right, we're back. So I'm going to use the Call It Baron Reed cards. Um, yeah, let's do the feminine side. So I'll use the Call It Baron Reed Wisdom of the Oracle for the feminine and the, the Enchanted Map for the masculine. Wait, let me just check to make sure they're upright. All right. Okay, so hopefully this will give us a little bit more insight into each um, aspect's energy. Uh, can you see it? Good. Actually, I'm not pulling any clarifiers, so I can move it over. Trust your intuition. Okay, and for the feminine. I just want to make sure you guys can see them. Okay, and also the Call It Baron Reed, the good tarot for the Union energies. Okay. And I'll give my cards a quick shuffle just in case I want to pull some clarifiers. But I mostly just kind of want to focus on the energy of the cards if I can. Good. All right. So let me get the books ready. So beginning with the feminist past position is higher power, awesome. So let me read that. Okay, so the essential meaning is conscious contact with the higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things. Committing to a partnership with spirit. So the relationship message is it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, goddess, spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connection and remain aware of your true nature. Okay, so again, there's that sense that you're, you still have some growth to do, right? The Judgment card or Grand Awakening card um, was the challenge for the feminine. And this energy is coming in from the past. Um, so it is a great energy to come into the present energy, you know, the present moment with, but I feel that there's, she needs to reconnect um, and, you know, get out of the mind and focus more on her spiritual path. Okay, so what is in the masculine's past is the talisman. All right, so it says, A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for success you seek. 
Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and, and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right thing to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. So whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you. For you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. So this is acknowledgement that the masculine has really done a lot of growth. Um, you know, there's this deep uh, sense of wisdom that he's attained. And, you know, the card, the energy, the body position is facing towards the future, towards this road that, you know, um, possibly there's, you know, that another journey that he still needs to take, right? But he can easily overcome these obstacles because he's learned his lessons. All right, so what is in the feminine's present position is deep knowing. Wow. Bam. Okay, so it says intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy, hypersensitivity. There are occasions when you just know deep in your heart and soul that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly, out of the blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched indelibly into your soul, onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey, so pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. Oh my God, isn't that exciting? So this is a twin flame reading. So whoever you're thinking about, um, wow, well, okay, so this is a, a feminine card, but uh, you know, this really um, is about both aspects within yourself, the masculine and the feminine without, within yourself, balancing that is the overall lesson that you want to learn. But, you know, in terms of the twin flame uh, aspects, um, this is a feminine card uh, directed at the masculine. If that makes any sense, oh my God, Mercury, fuck you. Okay, so the deep knowing, you know deep down in your heart, in your soul, into the deepest deepest depths of your consciousness that this masculine energy is your soulmate, your true love. And so this is verification uh, that they are. And for some reason, um, I had this um, feeling just to pull the first card on top of this deck over here, my little clarifiers. Okay, take action soon. Interesting. So, if you want to reach out to the masculine, is if there's if there's something that you're thinking of doing, um, I guess you're being guided to do so. Or it could just mean there's this desire for the feminine to take action, or wants the masculine to take action. Right? What was happening in? Um, the crossroads reading. Oh my God, I'm almost, almost forgot it. Right there's that dis that, that need to make a decision. That's what it was. A need. There was that underlying, you know, something has to happen soon. Okay. So what is in the masculine's present position? Balancing act. Wow. So the eleven card again. Very crazy synchronicity. So let me read that for the masculine. Because remember he had justice, which is basically the same card. Um, and also the two pentacles, desiring balance. Okay, so you're calm within no matter the fluctuations of the outer conditions. There are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to evaluate 
which areas of your life need balance, and then restore equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord, and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused level. Okay. Or, um, sorry. A choose a balanced, focused, and level path. Sorry, I should have finished <laughs> the entire sentence. Um, but yeah, what I'm feeling here is... He desires balance. He feels that there's that shift, that wind, that change um, that's occurring in his present moment. Uh, you know, and again, confirmation, the same energy in the Twin Flame reading. Um, so he's trying to find balance. Okay, so what is in the near future for the feminine is regeneration. So I think this is like restoring um, an old connection. I can't remember. Okay, so it says rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Okay, so the world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what, the, what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are all only an illusion. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment, you are radiating the, the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is a time uh, when, you, when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. What? Oh my God, that's awesome. Wow, okay, so there's this beautiful loving energy that is surrounding the feminine. You know, you're you're vibrating at a frequency. Look at that uh, tree there that has, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like these little sparkly champagne glass kind of energy around that tree. Um, so yeah, there's growth and a sense that someone is in your periphery that wants to reach out to you and you know who that person is and you know that person um, is your soulmate. Yeah, I know I, I keep OCDing here. All right. Um, so what is in the near future for the mouse? And I just want to make sure you guys can see the cards. Okay. Nice. Spark. Beautiful. Love it. Oh my God. Very nice positive energy that I'm seeing. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Um, you know, the, the energy has been so heavy the past three weeks, four weeks. And I really felt it lifted. I, was it uh, not yesterday, the day before? I really felt excited and happy and, you know, for no real reason. And so I, I felt a shift for sure within myself. And you can see that positivity in, in the reading. That's amazing. Except for, you know, the crossroads reading there is, um, in terms of how she is relating with the masculine, there's some negative energy there. In terms of the masculine relating to the feminine, there's some blockages there. But in terms of their own soul growth, it's incredible, you know, just absolutely beautiful. You know, the masculine... The, the, Rep, there's a representation of her, his journey and coming into balance and, you know, coming alive while the feminine is just in this space of, yeah, I know who my love is and I am sending out this beautiful vibration into the universe and as a result, I'm tr attracting it back to me. It That's, wow, you don't even know. Okay, so, Spark. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. There is a spark of creativity in you, and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is the perfect time to give birth to an idea, start a new relationship or job, or begin any endeavor. Attraction is high as you connect with, connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in express, expressing the finer aspects of life. 
Watching a spark turn to a flame and stroking the fire is a gratifying activity. Wow. So there's that, that um, sense of a new connection happening with the twins in that near, near future. So, wow. Okay, so what is the final outcome is, oh, interesting. So we've got a reverse card, and it's time to take a nap. That's actually a pretty good card to have in reverse, I think. What number is it? 24. Okay, so rest, rejuvenation, and renewal, temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. So, hold on one sec. So the protection message. You are a human being, not a human doing. Is it possible that you're suffering from workahol workaholism? Could you be one who thinks it's your job to save everyone to be there for everyone and to go, go, go until you can barely see straight. You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people in projects, but now you are empty. You are an empty well and have no reserves for others or for yourself. Don't let ego keep you going full speed when your body and spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're Stop what you're doing altogether to take a break. If you don't, the appearance of this card could uh, pretend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You will feel like a new person if you take that break. Do it now. That is an interesting card to have as a final outcome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually pull a card from the Osho Zen. It never fails. This is my one of my favorite decks. It always gives me the answers that I'm looking for. What do you mean by time to nap in reverse? You know, and it could be just that Ten of Swords energy. You know, it's there's these stabbing thoughts, this feeling of a burden of, you know, it's a negative energy anyway that's associated with the mind. Okay, what do you mean by this? Slowing down. So that's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely a repeated energy of slowing the fuck down. Stop burning the candle at both ends. Stop trying to prove that you can handle it all. It's like you're putting up this front that you're okay when in fact there's you know something heavy weighing on you all right so it says the night of rainbow is a reminder that just like this tortoise we carry our home with us wherever we go there is no need to hurry no need to seek shelter elsewhere even as we move into the depths of the emotional waters we can remain self-contained and free from attachments it is a time when you are ready to let go of any expectations you have had about yourself or other people and to take responsibility for any illusions you might have been carrying. This is no, there is no need to do anything but rest in fullness of who you are right now. Uh, if desires and hopes and dreams are fading, so much better. Their disappearance is making space for a new quality of stillness and acceptance of what is and you are able to welcome this development in a way you have never been able to do before. Savor the, this quality of slowing down, of coming to rest, and recognizing that you are already at home. Oh my God, isn't that awesome? The synchronicity between these two cards. All right, so time for a nap is basically that energy of slowing down, taking a rest, right? And it's repeated energy. So because it's in reverse, the feminine hasn't been doing that. And so I think it's just an overemphasis of that it's time to do that. It's time to slow down, time to um, focus on yourself, self-love, right? So continue to grow. It's like you're moving into this beautiful, peaceful state. You're already in it, no doubt about it, right? You, you're connecting to your higher power. You have a deep knowing um, about this connection, but there's this 
Take action soon card. WTF. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the first card from my deck. Seven of Swords. So this card is deceit, feeling like you're going to betray, be betrayed, like somebody's not telling the truth, lying to you. They're going to stab you in the back. So again, that, that feeling of betrayal. Um, and it's almost like if you don't take action soon, you know, this, this, and that, right? Um, very opposite energy of this deep knowing that this love, this connection is, is, is going to happen. You just need, need to rest in knowing, um, that someone, you know, your, your soulmate, your twin flame, um, is there to help you grow, right? So this little bit of negative energy here of wanting to force the masculine to take action, to say something, to do something, um, is working against you, okay? And it will culminate to a point where you either collapse in exhaustion or spirit steps in and says, no, you need to rest, and so you get sick right in order to get the message all right um so what is final come for the feminine deep or for the masculine is deep freeze interesting so it is a very similar energy to what the the feminine is getting over there um and what i'm noticing here is that there's a moon being represented it has a fox falling asleep on it and the moon is actually a feminine energy and on the masculine side we have a lion right so fire uh, but it's hibernating when do you know a lion to hibernate but anyway let me read that okay so everything has its season now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest the cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitious activity. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not needing to. This is also time to put all of your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now, so reflect, read a book, or get a, ma a massage. Rest and dream. Okay, so there's that resting energy. Both aspects. It's like there's this um, there's this activation of you know, connectedness, okay? And what I'm feeling here is that it's it's moving into a state of pure acceptance. There's nothing you need to do, right? It's just enjoying that energy. It's kind of like an arrival for what I can feel, especially with this positive energy, you know, in the middle. Right, it's it's reconnecting, it's starting a relationship. There's so much love here. Um, and then it moves into this rest, this peace. So I'm actually gonna pull a clarifier for that for just just a top card. A choice or change is needed. Okay, let me shuffle this. What the heck? You saw me shuffle, right? Okay. So remember, this uh, reading is for the next week, okay? So um, for some, there could be reconnecting, love blossoming, um, and then just this feeling of rest. And you can finally chill a bit. You don't have to worry about anything. But the feminine, there's resistance. Okay, so what do you mean by the deep freeze? They are your twin flame, 1111. Confirmation of exactly what I was saying. Um, deep knowing. They are your soulmate, right? 
so yeah it confirmation that that peace comes from the connection right you're moving into peace you're mo moving into rest um, and it comes because of this reconnection all right so we're moving into what is the feminine bringing into the union is breathe all right so patience waiting going slowly wellness meditation trust nice nice all right, so don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety, for there is no need for tension. Savor the moment, and the waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. Okay, so, you know, there is this desire to speed things up, right, and questioning things, but at the... You know, in terms of the union, she is attaining this state of meditation and peace within herself. She's finding patience. She's feeling balanced and in harmony. Okay, so what is masculine bringing in? Compass. Very nice. So this is kind of a similar energy to higher power, right? It's um, getting connected with spirit, you know, using your higher self and a higher power to, to guide you, you know, and you'll never feel lost. So it kind of goes along with that talisman. Um, and, it, oh, that's kind of interesting that I opened right to the talisman page when I said talisman and I meant to open it to 50. So it's 49 and 50 here. So the energies are connected for sure. Um, so as long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. Uh, to stay on your highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or higher power can serve this function. Money, pr um, property, prestige, Romance and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost tempor temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust, for your compass with spirit ha as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. All right, so there you go, right? It's wisdom spiritual connection there's a sense of um, being guided right that karmic energy and so what is at the foundation of the reading so this is union energy so it's the three of pentacles so there is a stable firm foundation, right? Um, this card showed up as uh, advice for the feminine. And it's kind of beautiful that there's a feminine energy here. Very stable, very grounded. So let me just quickly read that. Three of Earth. Okay, it says... Teamwork, building on solid foundations, group efforts, dedicated collaboration. What I am building is grounded in a solid foundation, so I know I can trust that it will not slip away suddenly. I am joined by others in a coordinated effort to bring forth what we have chosen to co-create. The architecture of my dreams is becoming tangible, taking shape before me, and I share my joy and pride with my partners and supporters teachers and students we are all learning growing and building collaboratively so um 
solid foundation, right? And there's a sense of co-creating this experience in the in the 3D reality. Uh, and you can see that in the cards as well. You might want to listen to the reading again because there's a lot of synchronicities here. Okay, so what is the crowning energy is the Empress. Nice. So this is energy felt by both aspects. Okay, so very, it's feminine, loving, nurturing energy. Okay, so this is a wonderful time to give birth to new ideas, experiences, and experiences. Nourishment is assured as I step into a new version of myself. My life is rich and ripe with possibilities that I can manifest and create. I am a powerful co-creator and lift love and life loves me right now. My world is brimming with potential and infinite possibility that will manifest for the highest good. Beautiful, very creative, co-creative energy, um, inspiration, just, just beautiful. And you know, the Empress is the goddess of love the heart chakra wide open so again shared energy between the two now this could be um, the feminine desiring to find balance within herself you know so the crowning energy is what she's desiring right and uh, the foundation is more of an energy that's coming from the past uh, and in terms of the masculine he's trying to embody this this energy, or he desires the feminine. All right, so let me just actually, I'm going to pull one card for the feminine, one for the masculine. Feminine first, five of pentacles again, and the ace of wands. Okay, so the ace of wands is a kundalini awakening, an epiphany realization, but it, it's the go light, go time. Uh, so I'm feeling this this spiritual connection that he he has with the feminine. Um, he wants to manifest that. He wants to move forward with it. He he feels, you know, this is a golden thread, right? Connecting the crown chakra to source, and so there's this 5D connection that's very strong and has to do with spirituality. Uh, but this is also desiring to create an entirely new life that is more in line with your higher calling, with your true self, right? So as a crowning energy, there's a sense that he wants to move forward with the feminine. And the feminine is bringing the five of pentacles. So this is feeling disconnected, left out in the cold. Remember the masculine got this as um, advice. So... The feminine needs to disconnect, right? There's a sense she really needs to rest and not worry about things. And just rest in knowing that they are your twin flame. Right? So feel that peace. Breathe. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to pull a clarifier for that, I think. Okay. Um, what do you mean by the Five of Pentacles for the Feminine? That's a crowning energy associated with the Empress. Confusion or delay. Okay, so again, that take action soon. Seven of Swords, right? That idea. You are trying to disconnect for that, from that... that need for things to to happen but really in the 5d realm there is a go light all right so you're just not seeing it you're not believing it you know with that uh judgment card as a challenge for the feminine you're not seeing something you're focusing too much on the mind and the 3D reality. That's your crowning energy. That's what's, you know, in the crown chakra. All right, so what's at the heart is 
Hierophant. Very nice. Okay, so it says, when this card appears, it reminds me to be committed to a spiritual practice, to ensure a conscious contact with my higher power. When I have a daily practice of prayer and meditation, steeped in gratitude and committed to being a co-creator, life works out in wondrous ways. Rituals are in my highest good at this time. Exchanging vows is also highlighted. So, um... You know, what I was feeling right away is that co-creative energy. Now, the high, Hierophant is a high priest, right? So, crown chakra activation. Uh, direct connection to source. And this is at the heart of this connection. So, what I feel here is like this spiritual bond that is, you know, it's very empowering for both aspects. You know, they're moving into this state of just knowing, right? Being at peace. But there's struggles for sure. Um, so one card for the feminine first. Death card and the masculine is Ten of Cups. Wow. So the at the heart space, the masculine feels the Ten of Cups, which is peace, harmony, bliss, the happily ever after. Deep knowing that you... Um, you're surrounded by love and you are in a relationship with your true love, right? And, you know, there was that exchange, there was a, a commitment kind of energy associated with this. So maybe marriage for some twins. Now the feminine is bringing in the death card, major transformation, metamorphosis, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis. So, you know, maybe in... The feminine is going through a major transformation, right? You see that regeneration coming in the future. Um, so this is death of the ego, death of the old identity, right? So she is cutting away things. She is detaching. She is letting go of illusions. You know, illusions are coming down. She's, um, she's facing her ego, her shadow side. Okay, now what is, you know what, should I pull, conf no, well, you know, it is um, advice card for the feminine, so let's go ahead and pull some confirmation, so nice, Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, so the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow, tedious movement, almost looks as if he's not moving anywhere, but in fact he is, he's just very, it, and again, slowing down, right? Same thing. Knight of Pentacles, same card. And so this is a sense of not having to rush. Don't worry about things. I'm coming. It's taking time. But this foundation is solid. It's, it's built on love. And that new beginning is coming in the future, right? He's using that... Um, spiritual compass and his heart to to guide his way uh, and but the feminine has to calm herself so the queen of wands the queen of no fix, fucks given so this is someone who's very charismatic um, you know she is a center of attention she's a leader she's um, she's unchained right so it's a very outward extroverted energy fiery passionate okay and so this movement of the night is towards the the queen of fire um however i think that the feminine needs to tone it down a little bit but you know um this is a foundation right so this is grounded energy right and it's because the feminine has been shining her light and living her her truth um in living her soul purpose right as a spirituality being a guide onto others um that is attracting the masculine to her right she is the light so this connection 
is grounded. Um, there's a firm foundation. Um, but there's a lot of instability that is felt on the feminine side. So I think she just needs to remember to be the queen of no fucks given, right? Yeah, believe that that wand, that ace of wands, that new beginning is coming. So healing energy um, is required again for the feminine. So I actually want to pull just one card for this balancing act. What? Why does he feel he needs to find balance? Why is balance so important to the masculine? Is he releasing a karmic laziness? Or take for granted. <laughs> okay, so what I think here is the masculine is moving forward very slowly, right? You can see that journey. He's learning his lessons. Um, the feminine wants him to hurry up, right? Pick up the pace a little bit. Um, and it's stressing her out, right? And so he's worried, possibly, that the feminine is seeing him as being lazy, um, or taking her for granted, right? And really, there seems to be this major change happening on the masculine side. Um, so ultimately, he attains that balance, but I can see how that could be misconstrued as negative. So he is working towards that new beginning. All right, so what's the overall energy? messenger of air so messenger is i believe the knight of swords so it's a movement forward very fast very fight very quick very windy chaotic no direction um communication cutting away barriers oops Sorry, I don't quite know how this book works. I never really looked at the descriptions. All right, so Messenger of Air. Opinions in, informed by experience. Adherence to dogma. Allegations, or sorry, allegiance to a way of thinking or acting. A learned response, subconscious programming, swift reactions or responses. So it says, I need to broaden my perspective. I am reacting to a situation from my past. I have to think about whether I want to do things the old way or respond differently this time. I can adapt a new way of thinking and behaving. I am swift and move quickly, ensuring my actions are for the highest good. Um, positive outcomes are assured. All right, so again, this is kind of reflecting that winded energy, very chaotic. Um, and so, you know, the feminine you know, she there's a sense of bringing peace and, and harmony to the connection itself, but within herself, there's still some chaos right and the masculine wants that balance so that's very cool synchronicity there all right so now i am going to pull two cards from miss and mermaids and this will be the final message from the universe sorry if um this reading was so long uh so i'm not going to be putting out the masculine and feminine reading tonight i'll probably be doing it tomorrow i work thursdays and fridays in my normal job uh, so I will probably, yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully I'll get them out tomorrow, if not um, Saturday. Usually I'm really tired um, after I work these two days. That's why I only work two days a week, because it's so incredibly exhausting. I'm a dental hygienist, by the way. Uh, you wouldn't think that it would be physically exhausting, but it is mentally and physically. All right, so what is the feminine? Uh, oh, Interesting. Okay, so uh, Spirit wants me to choose this one. Hold on a minute. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put these cards back in because I'm getting myself all mixed up. Um, they're in reverse. Oopsie. Okay. 
Okay, so let's try that again. For the feminine first. We have mermaid with a black sea serpent. And for the masculine, uh, alchemical seas. So I'll read the feminine side first, so 42. Okay, so a merman with a black sea serpent. Cling to me with desperation of a motherless child. I will give you all you need. Tell me your fears, and I will swallow them whole. Drink their essence, consume them with greed. Rely on me, and I will stay by your side. Forever your pet, the only one. Lean on me, I will be your support, forever your crutch, your autonomy undone. A desperate young mermaid clings to her dark pet, uncertain of herself. She is afraid to let go, afraid to stand on her own uh, two feet. Her reliance is unhealthy and draining, but addictive. So the meaning is cultivate your self-love. You have spent too much time seeking out approval and love from others. You cling to relationships long after they've lost their vitality and value to you. Start to cultivate your self-love and rebuild your self-worth before you proceed any further in your relationship, your profession, and your real life. Your inability to let go and stand on your own is detrimental to your personal growth. Take inventory of your strengths and weaknesses. Learn to love and make use of your competencies and emulate your shortcomings. Speak to yourself as you would speak to a beloved child, not with the deriding hypocritical voice we reserve only for others. Embrace yourself to let, and let go of anyone and anything that prevents you from standing on your own two free feet. So, yeah, let go. Right. You're, you're, you were resisting the five... Or no, sorry, actually. Here's the five of pentacles up here. Confusion, delay, right? Um, so, let go and... Focus on yourself, self-love, rest, slow down. You don't have to be so passionate all the time. Okay, so number 24. I feel like you've done all, everything that you can, right? So it's um, healing energy right now. So, alchemical seas. Radiant maiden from the sea asserts her strength and authority, grasps her staff of powers grand. With eyes aloof, she takes her stand. Among the beasts of the sea and land, she schemes to make all of them free. Why would she lead the likes of me? A powerful figure stands in a sea surging with sea monsters. Her staff of power asserts her authority as the sky begins to brighten behind her. She is coming into her own and stretching her muscles literally and figuratively. So the meaning is anticipate a new authority. The seas are turbulent with change, and soon a new power shall arise. A new figure of authority will assert itself in your life, and it is best to prepare mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and materially. This leader may be in your professional, spiritual, academic, or social realm. There may be leadership challenges at the, your work or a new spiritual leader at your current place of worship, or even a new acquaintance who will become prominent in your personal life. While a change of authority can be stressful or cause conflict for a time, take heart. Once the seas have calmed, life will return to a state of peace and stability. Take the time to get to know this new individual and learn how she conducts herself. Could she become a role model or a mentor to you? Is she a cautionary example or is she telling you it's time to move to calmer water so that that energy of moving to calmer waters was noticed in the the crossroads, right? The Six of Swords is what the masculine wanted the feminine to know, that he's moving into a calmer state. Um, and you can see that feeling of being imbalanced, right, as well. So that's what I see on both sides, that you're both moving into that calmness, and which is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so it's very similar energies of looking after yourself, self-love. Um, yeah. All right. So I do hope this helps. And again, thank you for your love and support, your likes, your shares, your comments. 
and show the love by subbing. All right, cheers, guys. Peace.